constructing a film like this as a director, how do, you, how do you build that much intensity without breaking this kind of steady beat that you established? Because I think that's very hard to do. Um, many years ago, I made a, a TV series in, in Sweden, and uh, I had this enormous scene I had to do. It was 12 pages or something. And it, 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 uh, it contained uh, so much information that was crucial for, for, for the series. We couldn't cut it down and we couldn't di divide it into several scenes. We had to do it that way. And we shot it and it was a nightmare to shoot it because it was so long. And it ended up being 14 min minutes something. And then I struggled weeks in, in uh, editing. And you you lost it after three or four minutes. You, 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 you didn't hear what the characters were saying because th there were too much information. So after two or three weeks in editing, the answer was to actually add a couple of minutes of silence into it. And then you heard what they were saying because you need time not only to digest the information, you, you, you need time to chew it and to swallow it. So actually there are a lot of things happening here in this film, but in a very quiet way and in a very calm way, visually or rhythmically. But uh, I, I think, uh, I believe in uh, creating a dialogue with the audience rather than having a, a monologue with just pumping out very, uh, uh, as you say, uh, images and scenes that, that don't let the audience in at all. But I want to, keep, to have a dialogue where the audience is actually active and, and think for themselves and to consider the audience as grown-ups. And, uh, and uh, we, we fought a lot to get rid of stuff here to create that, those silences. 